Hi guys, it's a deadly kitten here. And today I actually have a new box for you guys. Um, it says Nevermore on the package. It is from Infinite Realm Book Box. They are on Great Joy. I actually reached out to them and they actually sent this to me for free for review. So it's essentially going to be like a two part video um, that I'm just going to edit together. Um, to just form one video. So the first part of this is going to be just the unboxing and then I will return after the unboxing after I've read everything um, basically to let you guys know how it reads, what happens. Basically when I contacted them they said they would love to send me out a box. They just asked me what my preference was for when it came to books and I told them I love reading horror books. I'm currently reading The Fourth Closet which is a Five Nights at Freddy's book um, so let's get into this. Um, I'm not sure this is probably the wrong way. I am not sure how much this is right now. I will have to. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay, okay. Um, I will have to, as soon as I am done with this portion and reading it all, I will have to get back to you guys with. Um, prices on this but I'm just so stoked to sit there and get into this and hopefully not cut myself usually I cut the boxes beforehand I literally just got this my boyfriend literally walked in the door with it and I was like oh my god I have to do this now so and I believe too just so you guys know this is the first ever horror box that they're doing so, and then it says Nevermore on here, so it's making me think like Edgar Allan Poe. So just upon opening it, this is what I see. And just so you guys know, my boyfriend is the one that's shooting this. And it says, thank you for reviewing our horror book box. Please feel free to share the coupon inside with your followers. Warmest wishes, Infinite Realms. So I will definitely do that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is this. And it says it is a multifunction seamless wear. So let's see what it looks like. Okay. So basically, it's like a Oh, I can't think of what they're called. But, you know, like the buffs that they have on Survivor, that's what it's making me think of because you could literally wear it as a necklace if you wanted and then just pull it up during the winter. You know, make yourself look like you have this. So that's actually really cool. My boyfriend will probably use this, if not me. Um, so then they have a little peep paper. Paper? Um, it says a coupon just for you, 10% off, if you use the code IDCTHU at checkout. And that is at infiniterealmbookstore.com. Um, and it is good through August 31st. I'm just going to leave that there for a second in case you want to write that down. And then also, if you would like to contact them, this is all their socials right there. And then the next thing is the books in here. The first one is the Disturbed Digest from December 2013. So it looks like it has the Fuhrer on here. Um, Disturb Me Please. The Lighthouse Keepers, The Lighthouse Keepers Daughters. An Early Morning Visitor. Oh, and plus all these other people and many more. So basically, it's just a book of short stories, kind of like a um, like chicken soup, but a horror version. So I will definitely read this. That will be part of the part two of this that's going to be edited together to make it look like one video. The second one is called Blood Bond from May 2018. It looks like this is poetry, um, and the cover art is Blood Mage by Magma Mork. This usually retails, it has the price on the back, which is $9.95, which is really nice. Um, it looks like there's poetry um, and a couple of stories in here as well. 
And this is actually edited by Karen Otto, and she's actually the one that actually sent the box out to me. Um, so that's actually pretty cool too. I was just seeing if this one has a price on it. But the cover art for this one is by, it's called The Devourer Cometh by Richard Bay. Oh, it does have a price. This one's $9. And then the last book in here is called The Scream, which looks absolutely terrifying. Um, basically the back says K.S. Hardy combines Grimm and Poe and Hitchcock into a spooky, mind-bending darkness where what you see isn't always what you get. Read this one with all of the lights on and look over your shoulders while you turn the pages. Now this one also is a $10 book, so already right there you're almost at $30. Um, and like I said, I will give the prices out with the other part after I get done reading the books. And then, let's see, I think that is it. Okay, so in this one, it looks like we actually have a keychain, yeah, a keychain and a pin. And the pin is Edgar Allan Poe. And then the keychain says Tomb of Legia. Legia? Legia. I'm actually not too sure where this is actually from. Um, I'm not sure if that's like a Poe book. Um, because mostly when it comes to Poe, I've read a lot of Poe. But I haven't read everything of his. I know my favorite is A Dream Within a Dream. Um, and I don't know what my boyfriend says. It could be The Telltale Heart. Okay. That, he shook his head yes. Then the last thing in this item, and this is super cute, this little tiny bag, it has a skull on it, and it's in glitter, and it has candles around it, and that is actually super, super cute. I love this bag. So let's see. Oh, there's multiple things in it? Oh my god. Oh, they, they, they melted. Girardi squares. Girardelli squares, sorry. They're raspberry. I was like, what is this feeling? Because they're all melted. Sadly, on the hottest of days. So they gave me three chocolates, which I'm going to have to try to save and put in the freezer. And hopefully save. And then the last item in here, which is funny because I actually have a bottle of this actually sitting on my coffee table right next to my boyfriend. Um, which is the LA Colors Black Nail Polish in 412. Um, basically black and I find it funny or ironic that it is 412 considering where I live is Pittsburgh and 412 is our area code and our colors are black and gold so I just kind of find that funny it also says that it's called circuits but I just call it 412 anyway that is everything I'm still loving this bag I might reuse that for something but that is everything that I've gotten in this box. I absolutely adore it. Is it worth it? We will find out um, coming up here in a few minutes. Like I said, going to read all of it, make another video, edit it together so it's one video. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. Bye. Okay, guys. So basically, um, this is the part two for the infant infinite realms um box sorry i'm literally a hot mess if you couldn't tell right now but basically i had a chance to read it um but before i get into that i just want to let you know that they do have i believe five different boxes um i got the horror one obviously that was twenty dollars they do have a quick reads book which is our quick reads box which is ten dollars and I believe they're fantasy, sci-fi, horror, and young adults. Um, boxes are all 20. Um, which isn't a bad price. It really is not. And upon reading the three books that I'd gotten, um, they took me anywhere between one to three hours, depending on what I was doing. Um, but I do get into like these like reading moods and Basically, when I say, like, reading moods, um, like, for instance, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince took me, like, 
two days to finish. And that was without sleep. So, um, I just get into these moods, but, you know, I read a whole bunch of different things. Um, like, my one of my favorite horror book series is the Lestat series from Anne Rice. I love um, Anita Blake, which is Laurel K. Hamilton's um, Vampire Hunter series. And, like, I even do Young Adult. Like, I've read all of Pretty Little Liars and um, Alice Through or Alice in Zombieland, um, The Vampire Diaries. I, I just, I read a lot. Um, but for $20, what you're getting isn't that bad. You're actually getting about double what you're paying for. My only thing that I had an issue with is the chocolate. And, well, that and probably the nail polish. Like, I don't know if they just looked at my videos just to kind of see, you know, you know, what kind of YouTuber I am and was like, oh, well, she does mostly makeup. Let's give her some makeup. Give her some black nail polish. So, which is fine because I normally wear black nail polish. I try to mostly wear it when the penguins are playing. Um, but for the most part, it is my favorite. But... For something to be, like, gender neutral, I would have preferred something more like that. Um, the chocolate. If you're going to put chocolate in a box, I get it. Like, you wanted to do, like, you know, reading in a snack, which is fine. My thing is, don't put chocolate in a box in summer. Do it in the wintertime. Do it in the fall. Do it in the spring. Like, just don't do it in the summer when it's going to melt because honestly like I put my hand in there and I honestly thought like they were maybe like um little packets of candied blood so I was like oh okay like this is weird and then I pulled it out and it was chocolate and I was like oh don't get me wrong that chocolate is delicious however I had to put it in my freezer so um but other than that, upon reading the books, like I said, they took me anywhere between one to three hours. But I am a very, very, very fast reader. Um, there would be something that would literally one book would take my boyfriend like a day to read. Just because he is a slow reader. Um, but for the most part, the poetry was absolutely fantastic. Um, I love the poetry. There were a few different stories in there that were kind of confusing um just because they kept going back and forth back and forth to the future to the present like from to the future to the present to the past to the future to the present to the past and that kind of stuff like really really confuses me sometimes it's like don't get me wrong i can read alice in wonderland and figure out everything that there is you know which was fine because that was like my first book I ever read in like second grade. And, but the funniest thing was growing up, I actually failed English twice. And the reason why I failed English twice, one of it was because of Lord of the Rings, because I couldn't understand it. And I could never watch the movies because I always fell asleep because they were so boring to me. Um, and the other one was Lord of the Flies. So we've just came up with the solution that I can't read any books that have the word the Lord of in them so I was just like okay because I think honestly it's more simplistic writing the more simplistic something is like the harder it is for me to understand it but I mean you're talking about a girl who literally will sit there and read poetry non-stop or like I said, right now I'm currently reading The Fourth Closet. I actually have The Vampire Diaries sitting next to me on my bed or on my nightstand. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that I read, but it's just not coming to me. Like, I read Stephen King and just a whole bunch of other stuff. Like, I've read, like, most of the Doctor Who books. I have read... Oh, I also read a lot of manga so it's like, I'm used to that kind of stuff. 
I'm used to reading fast. I'm used to reading like a whole series in like a week. Um, because I'll just get into my moods of reading. But all in all, honestly, I priced this box about $40. So if you're paying $20 for it, you're getting about $40. Most of it's in the three books because um, that was the big huge chunk um, of the money was the books. But I actually enjoyed the books because they were different takes of horror. It wasn't just horror. Like, some of it was psychological horror. Some of it was, you know, like, scream, bloody, gore horror. And it just, I like that kind of thing. Like, it just, it doesn't specify one type of horror. It went into a whole bunch of different things. And the fact that it made me sit there and start thinking about certain things, like, especially, like, things you would never think of. Like, one of the stories, honestly, is about... Um, you move into this house and you know you end up talking to your neighbor about something and then you find out something you know about your family and it's just like oh okay so now I'm just sitting here thinking okay should I maybe contact my family about this but all in all for $20 you're getting about $40 and honestly I love the box I'm so thankful that they sent it to me um just so I could try it out. It was a fantastic read. Um, it only took me a couple of days to read it though, just because I am a huge reader um, and I read very, very fast. So I would actually, I would love to try like some of their other ones, but right now I just can't afford it. But for the most part, this is an excellent thing. I really, really hope that you guys share this out, get their, just get them out there. Like, because honestly, those books, I mean, their books is like the main thing. And because of that, like, you know, if you love reading, it is a great subscription box. Um, and like I said, they have other time, other kinds. So it's like, you can get, if you like sci-fi more than you do anything, you can get sci-fi, you can get fantasy, um, like Game of Thrones, ooh, I, that's another series I love, um, but it's like, you can get Young Adult, which is another series that I love, so it's like, you can get multiple different things, and they kind of, like, curate it, I guess, um, towards that theme, I do love that buff, though, um, although my boyfriend kind of stole it from me, but I still loved it. And the pouch that everything came in, still have it, still probably, I'm probably going to end up putting, like, my jewelry in there or something. I'll use it for something, trust me. But I love it. The pin is already on my purse and the keychain's already on my purse. So, I just simply love this box. Um, and I actually took my time to read everything. Like I said, some of the stories in there were a little confusing um, but other than that, it was a great and fantastic read. Um, I do wish that you guys do check them out. I did give you the code earlier in this video that they gave me to share with you guys. And on top of that, um, I hope you guys just share this video to get them kind of out there. So that way, you know, for people who love to read like I do, maybe, you know, there's a chance like somebody else out there is like, oh, well... You know, I'm not that huge of a reader, but, you know, I wouldn't mind small stories. This is perfect for you. It really is. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, I wish you guys all a very nice weekend. Whenever this is going up weekday. Other than that, bye guys.